this lesson is going to be so extremely easy and beneficial for you. Okay, when I first started playing lead guitar, they taught me this. Now, I've played that scale for, I don't know, five years. I didn't know I could move that scale to other keys. It was so confusing, so frustrating when someone played in the key of G and my scale didn't work. I didn't know how to move things around on the fretboard. So let me show you a very easy way to understand this. And we're gonna use something I call the House of Blues. Five notes, which if you realize, pentatonic means five tones. So this is a full pentatonic scale. And it's located on the thinnest strings where you wanna play solos. not on the thickest strings. So we've got a lot of advantages, right? It's only three strings, three frets, three fingers, easy to remember, shaped like a little house. And we're gonna start it on the key of A minor. Where is this little house located? Let me walk you through it and then we'll move it around to other keys. So it's over here. Really easy to remember because it's shaped like a little house. Now this is in the key of A. A minor. Let's say we want to play in the key of B. So the musical alphabet works exactly the same as the normal alphabet. So we've got A, that's where we're at, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And then the musical alphabet starts again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's no more letters. Okay, so let's move this little house in the key of A to the key of B. So we just got to Follow the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, but the shape, the sequence of notes we're gonna play are gonna be exactly the same, they're only gonna shift key. So we're gonna play in the key of A. To play in the key of B, we move up two frets, one, two, and we play exactly, exactly the same shape. So if we figure out a little lick, in the key of A, it could be anything as simple as this. We can also play in the key of B. One, two. Let's keep moving, right? So the alphabet went A, B. What's the next letter? C. Okay, let's start with A again. A, one, two, B. One more is C. And you can see it right here, and you can download that little book. Let's keep moving. C, A, B, C, D. Two more frets. One, two. Awesome. A, B, C, D, E. Two more frets. Now we're getting pretty close to the end of the fretboard. Let's see how we can move towards that side. So we've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? But what if we move backwards towards the other side? A, G, F, E. We move backwards towards that sequence. So A. Move two frets lower in pitch. One, two, G. Two frets lower in pitch. F. One, two, F. One fret lower in pitch. E. So now you can play on any backing track on YouTube you find or any song and it's pretty spectacular what you can do with this, this little house. powerful sounds very bluesy enjoy let me know if you like this and if you want to download that little book the link is going to be somewhere in the description or in the comments and you can download it for free let me know if you had a ton of fun using this house of blues